to Brussels on Tap, 120 seconds, reporting from Brussels for the week of May 30th, 2022. EU Green Week starts today on Monday. All week until Sunday, there will be EU-wide events and conferences focused on the Green Deal, circular economy, climate neutrality, and biodiversity. Partner events include litter picking on beaches in Portugal, children's beekeeping games in Slovakia, and carbon farming workshops in Belgium. The 8th Annual Energy Infrastructure Forum is taking place on Thursday and Friday. Drop into the live stream to learn about modernization, renewable energies, and completing the EU's internal energy market. Today and tomorrow on Tuesday, the European Council will discuss a Commission communication on investment gaps in defence spending and recommendations. This comes ahead of the Commission's plan to propose a regulation for a European defence investment programme in the coming months. Furthermore, in the area of security and defense, the 17th edition of the Bratislava Forum will take place from Thursday to Saturday. The forum serves as a stakeholder platform in the Central Eastern Europe region. The main theme of this year's conference is Building Resilience in the Divided World, with a focus on the war in Ukraine. The conference aims to mobilize the West's support and action for Ukraine, and to identify how to tackle autocracies. A high-level conference on the Capital Markets Union will take place from Wednesday in Brussels. The CMU's role in COVID-19 recovery, European resilience, and digital and green economy transitions will be discussed. The conference can be followed on live stream. From Tuesday, May 31st, Europe's two-day flagship conference on cybersecurity, quantum computing, metaverse, and green digital will take place. And for something more earthly, on Monday, today, Mr. Janusz Wojciechowski in Ireland meets Mr. Charlie McConnellog, Minister for Agriculture. The Commissioner will address the opening session of the 11th World Potato Congress and visit local farms. Thanks for watching and see you next week. In the meantime, stay safe and stay tuned.